Uh, Texas Superstar plants are plants that have been tested across the state of Texas at several different uh, areas that represent different uh, parts of the state and different environments in the state. And uh, once we find out that a plant is widely adapted to growing in Texas and is easy to grow, um, we then promote that as a Texas Superstar plant. Our newest plant is the uh, zinnias, which uh, we are promoting for fall use. Um, these are great plants. They've got all the autumn colors that you like to see, oranges and apricots and yellows and, and, and that sort of thing. Um, very similar to what you would see with chrysanthemums, and you can use them in much the same way. One of the things that, uh, that got us excited about looking at the zinnias is, is there are some new types of zinnias out called the Marilandica types. Um, that are represented by the uh, Perfusion series and the Zahara series, for examples, um, that are mounding type of, of zinnias, and they're also very heat tolerant and very uh, resistant to a lot of the diseases that can uh, cause uh, problems with, uh, with just regular zinnias, especially when you grow them in earlier in the summer and in the spring. Anyway, these are plants that can be grown um, easily in our heat so that they're, they're usually you'll start finding them in the garden centers in September. Um, it's a good time to get them and you can either get them in four inch pots uh, and plant them out in the garden or even or larger ones if you want instant color or you can also uh, get them in, in large containers that could be used as a patio plant. They're also excellent to be used in mixed containers with other things that are fun for fall such as ornamental grasses or uh, ornamental peppers, uh, and uh, so that there's a lot of different ways that you can use them. They'll last until, uh, until first frost and uh, also are great for attracting pollinators. You'll see lots of, uh, lots of butterflies and things like that, so that's, that's also another fun aspect of having this plant. They like uh, a, a quite a bit of sun. Uh, a good half day of sun is recommended. A uh, full day of sun is fine. They're very tolerant of the heat and sun and uh, that uh, helps them to, to flower better. Um, they need moderate watering, but they need very good drainage, and uh, that'll help keep them going, and a little bit of fertilizer doesn't help to keep the flowers coming as well. Most of the old flowers retain some color, so there's not a lot of deadheading involved, but you can, you can do that if you wish. The Magellan series, which are kind of compact versions of our more traditional uh, cut flower type zinnias, um, but they are actually do well in the, in the fall because uh, they don't get the diseases and everything that I mentioned earlier when you grow them, like when you grow them in the spring and early summer.